Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. I am about to make some cashew cheese and some Spanish rice. The Spanish rice is nothing special. <clears throat> the cheese is gonna be from scratch, but the Spanish rice is just Zatarain's. And um, I am going to be putting all the ingredients together and I will be right back to let you see how I put it together. Okay, I am back in this container. I have five and a half cups of water. I'm going to, these have been soaking overnight, cashews. This is a cup and a half. I have um, four tablespoons of lime juice. You can use lime or lemon. I prefer the lime. I have one cup of garbanzo bean flour. It actually calls for oats, but I'm trying to cut back on my grains, so I'm cho choosing garbanzo beans, and it works very well. I've tried this before. Here I have one cup of nutritional yeast. Two teaspoons of um, onion flakes. Four tablespoons of arrowroot powder. That's for thickener. And here I have three teaspoons of sea salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika, and two teaspoons of cumin. And it actually, the recipe calls for um, pimento peppers, but I've just learned to use my own peppers. This is a, a blend of red, orange, and yellow, just little bell peppers that I had in the freezer, so that's what I'm using. And this is going to be really noisy, so I'm going to get it started, and then I will shut um Pause the camera for a moment and then I'll come back and show you the finished product because it's too noisy to watch the whole way through. Okay, I'll turn this on. Well, before I start that, I should say that this, if you don't have a machine that's powerful enough to heat up enough to cook the, this, you will need to blend it up and then put it in a saucepan to finish the process of cooking. But this machine gets very warm. It gets hot, actually. It not only blends, but it also grinds and it also cooks soups and sauces and things like that. So I don't have to change anything. I'll just leave it in here until it finishes the process. So with that said, I'm going to get it started. And I'll be right back. All righty, I am back. As you can see here, it is still smoking. This machine not only blends as I said it also cooks this is a Vitamix one of the later models but they all cook very powerful machines 
Now I'm going to pour this up. I'm going to turn this down a little bit so you can see. You might hear a little noise because I have my grandchildren here and they're trying to be quiet, but you know how that is for an eight-year-old and a three-year-old. Plus, they got a puppy and he's in there making noise. Once this cools down, it will get... Um, a lot thicker. Right now it is piping hot. That's why I was saying earlier, if you um, don't have a high speed blender to do this, you will need to blend it up and then cook it on the stove, but you'll have to watch it close. Claudia, I mean Chloe, that's enough. And it freezes well, too. These jars that I'm not putting a lot in will go in the freezer because um, it will keep in the freezer for as long as you need it to keep in there. And all you got to do is pull your jars out, let them sit in the refrigerator overnight, thaw out, and use it. It comes out just as well as it looks right now. It's already beginning to thicken. And over here in this pot, I have the Zataran Spanish rice. I did add some uh, can of tomatoes, two and a half cups of water, um, a two, well, a tablespoonful of, of butter, and um, what else did I put in it? Cumin. I just put about two teaspoons of cumin in it. That's just some extra, and a little bit of garlic powder. What I'm going to do is make some burritos for the girls, and I will be back to show you that process when I get to that step. Alrighty, I am back. I'm going to put these little burritos together for the girls because they are ready to eat. I'm going to bake mine, but they don't want theirs baked. So I'm just, I have, what I have here is um, I mixed up the walnut meat that I made yesterday with the tomatoes and the salsa and I cooked the Spanish rice and I had some pinto beans already cooked I just mixed this all together and they wanted these smaller taco shells put a little cheese in they're ready to eat right now so I am going to make me some, but I'm going to put mine in the little oven because I like those. I like them like that. They don't want to wait. So I will not make them wait. And I let them sample the cheese sauce because this is the first time they've had it. They like it. Like it a lot. Enough to keep asking so they could lick off the spatula. So when you make something from scratch and the children love it, you got a winner. Now I'm going to come back when I make mine because mine is going to be a little bit different. Alright, I am back. Now I am going to put me some together. This walnut meat is really, really good. It's a good substitute for burger meat. When I first started using it, or first even heard about it, I said, that's, that can't be too tasty. But it actually is.
I mean, it actually mimics burger meat almost perfectly. I got to the point where I couldn't eat burgers anymore, uh, hamburger meat, because I didn't like the idea of all the blood. I'm going to make a few more for them just in case they've got two to get started with but they hey they have the smaller ones like that Chloe you want me to make you a big one yeah with the, with the, one with the big shell Okay, so they want to try the big ones. I was going to need that spoon. You love what? I said, you're right. I was going to need that spoon. Oh, yeah, I figured you would. This messy. Mm All right, well, I have the oven heating up, and I am going to put these, I think I'll put a blue cheese sauce on top. I have it heating up on 350 for about 20 minutes, because I like my shells crispy. They don't care. They just want to eat, and I'll be right back. All righty, I have tacos. Uh, burritos, I mean, inside the little oven. Turn the light on here. Yeah. These are the bigger ones here. And I have them on for on 350. And they will be baking for another 10 minutes before they're ready. I like mine crusty. So. The girls enjoyed theirs. And this is the size that they had they wanted those size that size wrap so they're happy with that they are full they had four well the baby had three and the eight-year-old had four and they are stuffed right now so these will go for my son when he gets home from work tonight this is my final product and i have um my cashew cheese in the background that I made today and I also have um, these four burritos they have walnut meat inside Spanish rice and some chili beans that I made a few days ago and I had them in the freezer so I took them out let them thaw out and this is what we're having <laughs>